Making a budget for your student competition car is a highly challenging and a really critical task. If an accurate budget is made, then it can help you in deciding how much you have to spend on your car, what sponsorship slabs you have to decide for your sponsorship proposal, and it also enables your prospective sponsors to judge you and to decide on sponsoring you. So if you're approaching a sponsor who has already been a part of events like Baja or Formula Student or any student competition events, then you have to be really sure about the prices. Do not exaggerate the values. An accurate budget gives your sponsors an idea of how much you have researched about the cost of each and every subsystem. Generally, the budget of a competition car team can be divided into the following categories. There may be slight variations, but pretty much every team comes up with the following subsections in their budget. This list has been taken from a sponsorship proposal that was forwarded to us by a team. Now, we'll discuss upon the cost of each and every subsystem one by one. Let's discuss about the chassis first. We have received a number of sponsorship proposals in which teams have a team quote of value of 1,50,000 or 2 lakhs on chassis. Now this seems to be a very high values. Let's go further into the calculations. Most of the teams, almost everyone, works on a tubular space frame chassis. So we'll do our calculations for that. Generally, for either for a Baja car or for a Formula car, you don't need material more than 30 to 40 meters. However, this is not any standard value and it depends upon the design of the chassis that you are going to build. So if suppose we take a material of around 40 meters, then the most expensive material that you can take is AISI 4130 Chrome Molly. Chrome Molly is available in India with many dealers. However, we also deal in Chrome Molly, but we import the material from United States. And therefore, our price is somewhere around INR 1500 to 2000 rupees. That's quite high. Quite so if suppose you buy Chrome Molly from us, then uh, the total cost that you'll be spending for 40 meters of Chrome Molly will be around INR 80,000. Okay. Now suppose if you buy 60 meters, so generally teams buy uh, more material than their requirements. So even if you buy 60 meters, the cost will be around INR 1,20,000. Now suppose if you also include the welding uh, uh, cost of the welding machine, the filler material, uh, the electricity that you'll be spending, then too, the price will not be as high as uh, 1,50,000 or 2 lakhs. And that too, I'm talking about the best material from the most expensive provider. On the other hand, if you're using a tubular space frame chassis uh, made of IS3074 or IS1018, the materials which are normally used by teams, then that costs around 600 to 700 rupees per meter. So the total cost that you'll be spending on 40 meters of uh, IS3074 or IS1018 will be INR 28,000. And if you buy 60 meters, the cost will be around INR 42,000. On shipping, you'll be spending maximum of 8,000 to 10,000 for a distance of 600 kilometers. And that too, if you hire a complete vehicle to ship the items of, to your place. If you use services like Gati Transport or Safe Express, the cost can be reduced drastically. To make a budget for suspension and steering, you first have to understand what all components you are going to require for your suspension and steering systems. So here's the list of items that you will be needing. Springs and dampers, suspension links, hub and upright, ball joints and steering rack. There are other small components that you'll be needing, but these are the basic items, the basic components that comprises your suspension and steering and that dominates your budget. Coming to springs and dampers, there are various options that you can explore in this section. If you go for branded dampers like Coney or Fox, you may end up spending around INR 50,000 or even more on just one damper. If you take any stock vehicles uh, shock absorber assembly, then you may spend up to INR 5000 per shock, absor shock absorber assembly. If you make custom shock absorbers, then also 
you will end up spending near about 5000 rupees per shock absorber assembly coming to suspension lengths if you use chrome moly airfoil tubings which generally people don't use then you may end up spending INR 3500 to 5500 rupees per meter of tubing normally you don't require uh, a lot of tubings to make your air suspension a arm if you use chrome moly round section tubings or IS 3074 or IS 1018 then uh, those costs we, has, we have already discussed in our chassis section coming to hubs and uprights there are a wide range of materials that are available and people use for making their hubs and uprights materials are cast iron mild steel EN24 aluminium 6061T6 these are the general materials that generally team use for their hub and uprights machining cost uh, depends upon the design of the hub and the upright but may not exceed 50,000 to 60,000 for all four sets of hubs and uprights now coming to ball joints good suspension ball joints or rose joints uh, may be available at INR 450 per joint there are some cheaper ball joints available as well in the market but they are not recommended coming to steering rack a centered steering rack which is preferred by Baha and formula student teams uh, is available at 12,000 to 15,000 rupees now expensive ones are also available outside uh, India and you can import them as well customizing a stock vehicle rack may cost you up to INR 5,000 to 8,000 maybe less depending upon the resources that you have around coming to engines there's hardly anything to say over here in many events the organizers provide the engines on their own in that case you have to pay the amount that the organizers ask you to pay for the engines if organizers don't provide the engine then you have to look for an engine yourself now in that case prices vary drastically a CBR 600 RR costing around INR 2 lakhs in India may cost you INR 1 lakh 50 thousand if you purchase from USA therefore take advice and look well before buying any engine coming to transmission the cost of transmission depends upon the level of technical sophistication that you want in your transmission a simple manual gearbox may cost you around 20,000 to 30,000 rupees a gearbox for ECU based engines like Honda CBR or Yamaha YZF may be a little expensive semi-automatic gearboxes with pneumatic clutch and pneumatic shifting mechanism may cost you around INR 3.5 to 5 lakhs a CVT may be available from 1 lakh rupees or so in case of breaks we receive a lot of sponsorship proposals where people spend around 70 to 80 thousand on breaks and even up to 1 to 1.5 lakhs these are good values if you're looking forward to buy branded brakes like Wilwood for your vehicles Wilwood brakes calipers and pads will cost you around INR 70,000 for four sets if you're looking forward to use stock car or bike brakes then uh, for all four sets you'll have to spend around 8,000 to 10,000 rupees depending upon the com the vehicles components that you are buying now coming to tires and rims ATV tires that generally people use for Baja are available in the range of 10,000 to 20,000 more expensive tires are also available in the market coming to slick tires for formula car applications then Avon tires are available in the range of 24,000 to 29,000 per tire less expensive good quality tires are also available wet tires are also available in the same range of 24,000 to 29,000 lesser less expensive tires and that too of good quality are also available Casted rims of 10 inch dia are available for 10,000 rupees per rim. Forged alloy rims of 13 inch dia are available 
offer for around 37,500 per rem. FRP seats of Baha and Formula type can be bought in not more than 5,000 rupees. Safety gears is also a section in which people either present very highly exaggerated costs or very less costs. So here are the standard costs of the items of the safety gears that are available in the market. Racing suit normally comes in the range of 10,000 to 20,000 rupees only. The inner wears comes in the range of 7,000 to 10,000 rupees only. Gloves are for 4,000 to 5,000 rupees. Racing shoes are in the range of 6,000 to 10,000. Racing helmets are in the range of 15,000 to 20,000. Driver harnesses, 5-point harness and 6-point harness are in the range of 6,000 to 10,000. Neck restraints are in the range of 3,000 to 5,000. Arm restraints are in the range of 5,000 to 7,000. All these components are SFI rated and branded racing items that are available with us and also with other dealers in the market. Bodywork is also a section in which teams present highly exaggerated values. Normally a Formula car has more bodywork than a Baja car. The design of the bodywork and the extent of the bodywork decides the cost of the bodywork. If you just have a nose cone on your car, then a simple design using FRP will cost not more than 10,000 to 11,000 rupees excluding shipping. Many teams set aside a huge amount in the range of INR 2 to 3 lakhs for bodywork. In many cases, teams do not have bodywork worth that value. To give you an idea, in 2 to 3 lakhs, you can get a nose cone made of carbon fiber. This presentation was just a basic idea of the financial requirements of a few general subsystems of a student competition car. Getting an accurate idea of the minimum and maximum cost of each item is highly essential to make an accurate budget and hence an effective sponsorship proposal. Make sure that you plan your finances in a way that you do not waste money unnecessarily in any area. Moreover, you should also have enough funds to get the best in each subsystem of your vehicle. Thank you. For any queries or assistance, please feel free to contact us.